He's just standing there. Menacingly! Hello everyone, it is Briximus Prime back at it again for another Transformers action figure video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Yolo Park AMK series Scourge model kit. And now with Scourge out of the way, taking a look at the packaging here, got some nice renders here of Scourge from the promotional art, says Yolo Park, Scourge, warning, choking hazard, very important. <laughs> <laughs> says Transformers, authentic Transformers. See on the back, it's just got a rundown of how to assemble the figure and so on and so forth. And yeah, let's just get right on into the figure itself. And yeah, when taking out the figure, it does come disassembled into multiple parts when you pull it out of the packaging and just follow the instructions and it's pretty straightforward on how to put them together. I mean, you pretty much just put the arms on and like connect the hand on. Like it's pretty simple kind of instructions. It's not very complicated. And here are all of the accessories included with the AMK series Scourge. First off, he comes with his impressive arm blade here. Part of me wishes that had the orange paint on it, giving it that glow effect, but I am glad though that this model kit does already have parts with paint applied on it and I don't have to apply it myself. And when connecting the arm blade on, that peg right there just slides into a hole there on his forearm. He also includes these two alternate hand pieces. He's got the big posable claw right here and then he also has the swappable hand cannon as well and it's very nice to get those. Again, some nice silver highlighted painted bits which is very nice to get on this. There's the arm cannon on there and just like every other kind of figure that usually has alternate hand parts, you just slide that off and you just, you know, pop on the alternate hand in its place just as you think it would. And then Scourge comes with two alternate face plates. He's got one of each. Obviously, I rarely use this one. I mostly like him with his mask on. And before you put the mask on him, he does look a little... But of course, you can easily cover that up by just placing the battle mask faceplate right on there. And also, here's what he looks like with his battle mask off with the alternate face on. Disgustingly screen accurate. And ooh, is this thing very pitch perfectly screen accurate. But, but that being said, this figure is very nice. It is a model kit, but that means that this guy does not transform. You what? I know what you're thinking. This is absolute heresy. Why would I be interested in a Transformers figure that doesn't transform? I personally have always found them to be kind of redundant and also overly expensive and, you know, like just, just kind of overrated in general. But let me tell you, these things, the YOLO Park model kits... <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. Super highly detailed. They are... Pretty much dirt cheap compared to some of the other options for non-transforming Transformers you can find out there. And just how screen accurate these things look. It is absolutely insane. This guy literally looks like a CGI model that stepped right out of the movie and I just cannot believe it. It's probably at this point in the video you guys are probably thinking, oh, this guy's just praising it because he's sponsored by Yolo Park. He has to say good things. No, I am not sponsored by Yolo Park. By the way, please, Yolo Park, sponsor me. Please. Please! Getting back to the topic at hand, Scourge here is just giving you a little bit more detail there on that mask. I love the silver. Again, there's already pre you know, um, applied paint on this thing. It's not one of those model kits where you have to go and paint it yourself. Like, it's already pre-applied paint, and, and, you know, it's just as high quality as some of the official Hasbro products for, like, some of the mainline figures. And there's even some little red highlights down there, and there's, you know, silver details here on these shoulder pads. You can even see some of the faction logos right here, which is something that the mainline Studio Series figure was missing. It didn't really showcase a lot of the you know, the Autobot logos and such that this guy has collected over the years. It's got some of those chains and such, some silver highlights here down on the abdomen and the crotch. And yeah, overall, this thing is just super duper articulated. There's a lot of depth to a lot of the different parts. There's so many layers and such. Like, look at that. Look at that freaking fudge. 
I guarantee you, I have almost cut myself with these little knuckle spikes right there. And a lot of the spikes on this thing. This thing is actually legitimately sharp in areas, and I feel like I could draw blood with this thing. It really does feel like a collectible also in that way. Continuing down the rest of the body, like I said, the details here are so immaculate. There's so many layers and just detail. There's like pistons and just hidden cogs and gears and just n nice paint that even comes across almost as if this thing has like die-cast metal, which if this thing had die-cast metal, this, this thing would be 100% pitch perfect. Look at that freaking spine detail. Studio Series can't even attest to that. He's even got the fake tires right there in his hips, which don't even try, but still nice to see that it still has some of the vehicle parts still bleeding through, even though this doesn't transform. As of right now, it not transforming seems irrelevant at this point. Now let's get into Scourge's articulation, which is absolutely bonkers, by the way. There's a ball joint at the top of the head and at the base of the neck, which allows for the neck to have all kinds of up and down, head pivoting, swiveling from side to side, just all kinds of different posability in this. Which, by the way, there is also a hinge joint at his mouth in there, but it's so tight and very subtle that it barely does anything, so... He does have a very impressive diaphragm joint here, which allows for an arching back, a crunch, diaphragm pivoting, and a little bit of some give there for like a swivel. He, these shoulder pads can move up and down to accommodate for the shoulders rotating a full 360. They can also move back and forth and shift all over the place in there. They're on ball joints. He has a shifting shoulder pad, which allows for the arm to move outward that far. He does also feature a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, which bends in very far, very nice. This hand right here is on a nice little spinning th uh, thing right there because it did spin in the movie. <laughs> and then each finger is on a hinge joint and a hinge joint, double hinge joints. So this thing is completely posable. Just as long as you manage it, it's not going to feel like wet noodles. And then over here on his actual hand, I'll move this just to simplify, he's got the wrist swiveling, he's got a hinge joint, hinge joint, hinge joint at his thumb, and a hinge joint, hinge joint, hinge joint at his fingers. Completely posable, everything is absolutely fantastic with the fingers. And again, individually articulated and can draw blood. In addition to the diaphragm joint up top, he does also get a waist swivel. His hips can rotate forward, they can rotate back. He also has shifting down hips, which allow them to kick even farther up. I can't even do that. And then he does get a thigh swivel, which is very nice. He does also bend at the knee only that far. That's kind of disappointing. Just kidding! YOLO Park figured that out too. You hinge out this little bit right here. It allows for beautiful double jointed knees. And that's not all! It's also got shifting piston action right there. It just doesn't stop. And then he's also got a posability right here in the ankle guard, which it accommodates for the ankles to move up and down. They also swivel, they ankle pivot, and also there is a toe bend. I'm really glad this figure took advantage of not ha being hindered by the, you know, transformation engineering to turn into a truck. It, it completely takes advantage of all the posability. YOLO Park, please sponsor me. <laughs> now, the YOLO Park figure, like I said, I've already sung its praises enough, but the real question is, how does it scale? Is it in a good scale? Like, what... Like, you know, just trying to help you determine what scale it's in. Because I know a lot of people will complain about model kits being too small or stuff like that. So, just for comparisons, here he is with the Studio Series Leader Class figure. Safe to say, I'm pretty happy with how big the YOLO Park figure is. He's nice, he's big, he's chunky. And on top of that, this is a $50, sometimes $60 action figure and again it has transformation engineering and all that stuff going for it this one does not have any of that and it's only 30 dollars what 
And then here he is with the Studio Series Core Class, Nova Kane and Freezer. And yes, I did buy both of them, even though they're pretty much the exact same thing. Trust me, I make good financial decisions. And here he is compared next to the only other YOLO Park figure that I've got. Oh wait, I haven't reviewed that yet. And yeah, that is basically it for my review on the YOLO Park Scourge. And I absolutely love this thing. Now, it is a little hard to recommend because not everyone is into the whole non-transforming Transformers scene and whatnot. But, but that being said, if you are to get a non-transforming Transformer, go for the YOLO Park model kits. They are the best things ever. The Scourge one is probably the best one they've done so far. And it's it just looks amazing. The detail, the posability, like pretty much everything you'd want from a non-transforming Transformer, this guy pulls off and he does it phenomenally and at a very nice price of $30. And yeah, like I said, not sponsored. Yola Park, please sponsor me. And yeah, that's basically it for this review. If I had to give this figure a rating, I'd give him a very solid 9 out of 10. I'm only just the tiny Himalayan little bit salty that he doesn't have a transformation. But yeah, that's basically it for this review. If you guys liked it, give me a like on the video. Comment below what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel for more YOLO Park and other Transformers action figure videos. And I'll catch you guys next time.